These are the inventions that turned a bunch of hairless apes into the masters of planet Earth. What could number one be? You might be surprised. Number 12, steam engine. The steam engine can turn heat into motion as a key way to convert one type of energy into another. The modern steam engine was invented between 1763 and 1775 by Scottish inventor James Watt. Yes, the same Watt who has a unit of power named after him. Funny how that works. The first commercial uses of the steam engine were to pump water out of abandoned mines in order to, of course, re-enter them and continue mining. Later, the steam engine became critical in powering various forms of advanced transportation. Of course, we have steamships and trains. The steam engine was one of the key elements of modernizing our world. We moved from water wheels and horses as our methods of power and transportation to steam-powered blast furnaces and giant steamboats that turned our world upside down and made it the way it is today. Ultimately, more advances like the diesel engine continued the legacy of fuel-powered motion, and modern society would be very different without it. Number 11, compass magnets. How do they work? Well, the first opportunity that humans had was 2,000 years ago in China when we turned magnets into something that worked for us. Of course, naturally magnetized iron or lodestone was well known as a way to point in a single direction due to the magnetic field of the earth. But it took a while for people to realize that they could put that magnetized metal into a machine that would always point in the same direction and utilize it for navigation. Before the invention of the compass, sailors had to know their location by navigating via the position of the stars or any nearby landmarks, which was dicey on the open ocean. It was actually first used for fortune telling in accordance with the Chinese tradition of feng shui. Later, compasses became the biggest navigational technology for millennia. Compared to previous technologies, the compass allowed for navigation on a foggy day or at night. You didn't need to see the position of the sun or the stars in order to tell where you were or which direction you were going in. But by far, the most important thing that the compass did was it spurred on the age of discovery, which led to, of course, the Columbian Exchange, when Christopher Columbus landed in the New World and suddenly brought together two separate biospheres. If it weren't for the compass, the world would never have come together nearly as quickly, and we would have a very, very different world map. Number 10, airplane. No, not the movie. We're talking about the invention here. To get from New York to Tokyo today, it takes a bit over 12 hours. To get from New York to Tokyo without a plane, it would take you over a month. First, even today, it would take three days by car to Los Angeles or San Francisco. Then you'd have to get in a boat for upwards of 30 days. Airplanes are the connective tissue that brings our physical world together so easily. They are the closest thing to teleportation we have today. If you told a person in the 1800s that you could get to the other side of the world in a single day, you would be laughed out of the room. It took them weeks to travel distances that now take hours. The first airplane flight was the famous Wright brothers in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina in 1903. From there, I guess you could say it took off. It became used to deliver mail, transport people and cargo as fast as possible, and of course as weapons of war. Air superiority means everything nowadays. We are able to rain down destruction from the heavens via advanced bombers. Of course, it doesn't have to be used to destroy. In human history, we've also used airplanes to rain down care packages on war-torn countries. The Berlin Airlift from 1948 to 1949 was the best example of airplanes being used to avoid war rather than make it. For long distance travel, nothing beats the airplane in today's modern world. It is an indispensable component of contemporary life. Number nine, nuclear fission. Nuclear fission was first discovered in 1938 in Berlin by Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann. The energy contained within is known today by the most famous scientific equation in the world. E equals mc squared. 
Of course, after its discovery, nuclear fission ended up being used by the Manhattan Project, which created the scariest weapon in human history. You know, the one that could end all human life if it got into the wrong hands? The atomic bomb. First tested at the Trinity site in New Mexico in 1945, the A-bomb was later used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. The damage and destruction it contains is immense. But when that mushroom cloud rose up into the heavens, it marked the beginning of the atomic age. Atomic power doesn't have to be destructive. In fact, if futurists are to be believed, atomic power is the source that will get us to the stars. Nuclear power plants leverage the power that lies within the atom as a way to power our world. There are dangers inherent in nuclear power. Out of control reactions can cause devastation and destruction. Like the city of Chernobyl, which experienced a major nuclear meltdown in 1986 and absolutely poisoned the countryside for what seems like the next hundred years. But properly maintained and properly regulated, nuclear power has the potential to give us limitless energy. Some inventions on this list got us from apes to men. Nuclear fission, along with the next item on this list, will take us from men to gods. Number eight, computers. If nuclear fission brought us raw power, computers bring us closer to creating life. First, Charles Babbage, called the father of computing, came up with the idea of a machine to calculate mathematical results mechanically. He never got one fully working, but his brainchild is the most important tool in modern life. He corresponded, of course, with Ada Lovelace, known today as the first computer programmer. She came up with an algorithm for Babbage's machine to solve a number of mathematical problems, not just straight calculation. The first prophet to understand how widespread computers could become and how many problems they could solve. All this in 1843, 100 years before the first real digital electronic computer. Ada Lovelace has the programming language Ada named after her today. Alan Turing was the next pioneer in line. He invented the modern concept of the computer. A Turing machine is still a key building block of computational theory, the universal computing machine based on his 1936 paper. From these humble theoretical beginnings came computers the size of rooms with vacuum tubes, then smaller ones, including transistors, and finally, microchips. Today, we have computers millions of times more powerful than those first ones in our very pockets. You might be watching this video on one of them. Computers are by far the invention most likely to take the world we know today and turn it into something unrecognizable in the next 10 to 20 years. Artificial intelligence and machine learning mean that we are dancing on the edge of a technological revolution. Sooner than you think, we could have self-driving cars, robot workers doing every task for us, and networks of supercomputers smarter than a trillion humans all put together. If you believe in the technological singularity, then the computer is by far the most important invention of modern history. Number seven, electricity. Electricity, or electromagnetism, is a fundamental force of the universe that we humans can harness to bring ourselves modern life. Money is power? No, power is power. In this case, electric power. Thales of Miletus was the first to examine static electricity back in 600 BC. For millennia, electricity beguiled the human mind. Benjamin Franklin tied a key to a kite in a thunderstorm back in June 1752 in order to explore the phenomenon of electricity. Perhaps the most important piece of innovation in the world of electricity is Thomas Edison's electric light bulb, which defeated the natural rhythms of sunlight and allow us to work and move whenever we please. Electricity, of course, also offers us climate control, like air conditioning. In that sense, electricity is the natural descendant of a long line of creature comforts, offering us mastery over our environments. And yes, electricity is the key, powering our computers and communication networks like the internet. If computers are the brain of the 21st century, electricity is the food and water that keeps it alive. Number six, penicillin. 
Despite what some skeptics think, modern medical advances are the single most responsible innovation for increasing average human lifespan. And penicillin is the most iconic antibiotic. First discovered in 1928 by Scottish scientist Alexander Fleming, penicillin can cure bacterial infections. It was first used to treat widespread bacterial infections during World War II in 1942. It started a worldwide revolution fighting against infectious diseases. We've beaten gonorrhea, staph infections, strep throats, tons of infected scratches and wounds. Penicillin saved thousands of soldiers in World War II and millions more people afterward. We have an entire worldwide industry devoted to fighting all types of disease today, thanks to the development of antibiotics. And penicillin is the granddaddy of them all. What might once have festered and killed someone is now just an occasion to go to the doctor and get some nasty tasting liquid. Isn't modern medicine great? Number five, printing press. Johannes Gutenberg, a German printer in 1439, invented the technology that took communication to the next level. Mass communication didn't really exist prior to the invention of the printing press, but it dramatically lowered the cost of written materials which allowed for the dissemination of ideas at a rapid pace. The transportation and exchange of ideas became so much easier once written material was able to be printed and mass produced. The printing press gave birth to newspapers, influential pamphlets, and yes, the art of propaganda. Before the printing press, there was no way for a regular person to influence public opinion. Rulers simply made their decrees and that was that. Perhaps it's fair to say that the printing press was one of the most democratizing inventions of all time. It made the great wide world just a little bit smaller. For disseminating religion, science, and even storytelling, there is nothing more iconic and influential than the printing press. The printing press created a platform for broadcasting ideas to the world, which I suppose inspired the internet. For being the first step in democratizing the flow of information, the printing press undoubtedly deserves a place in the most influential inventions of all time. Number four, writing. Imagine if you couldn't record anything, if you had to memorize any information you wanted to keep for later. Imagine if you couldn't communicate without being in the room with someone. Nearly every development in civilization is predicated on writing. The written word developed independently in Mesopotamia over 5,000 years ago, and in Mesoamerica about 2,500 years ago. It is found in ancient China and ancient Egypt as well, and scientists aren't sure if it was developed independently or via a cultural exchange. Writing was the natural first step for developing centralized cities and government. If you had to collect taxes, had to make decrees, or had to send information to other people in other centralized cities, there was no tool more critical than writing. In fact, we define history as being after cultures developed written records. Prehistoric humans, by definition, lived before writing. History began with the written word. Pretty impressive invention if it literally marked the start of history. Number three, the wheel. Over 6,000 years ago, before writing, the wheel and axle changed the course of human history. It revolutionized transport, along with domesticated animals like horses and donkeys. The invention was so simple, yet so influential. The idea behind it is as follows. A wheel reduces friction so an animal or person can pull a much greater weight than they otherwise would be able to. Even before the wheel, humans used rolling logs to help move heavy loads that they couldn't drag along the ground. Scientists can't accurately place the invention of the rolling logs it dates so far back before recorded history. This is the most important simple machine in multiplying humans' physical capability. Slap two of those on a chariot, hitch it up to a horse, and you have the first tank of the ancient world. And it's still a key today for transportation. Every vehicle that has to travel on land has wheels. The wheel is one of several fundamental pieces of technology that separates humans from the animals. Number two, agriculture. Agriculture is a bit of an umbrella term. What exactly does it mean? 
Well, the domestication of crops is one of the key elements of shifting from a nomadic to a centralized civilization. Prior to agriculture, humans couldn't really predict when their next meal would come or where it would come from. But after discovering the ability to domesticate crops, that is, to plant them on a regular schedule and harvest the fruits and seeds later, our prosperity and security increased tenfold. Suddenly we had the ability to have city-states, and from there, job specialization. We were no more hunter-gatherer societies, on the run, nomadic, chasing our next meal. We knew that we could have a hearth and home with our fields surrounding us. Planned agricultural centralized economies, i.e. city-states, were much more powerful than the sparsely populated tribes that wandered around in the wilderness searching for their next meal. Centralized governments were able to control large swaths of land, hire people to be professional soldiers, and organize gigantic public works projects to improve the lives and happiness and well-being of their citizens. If writing brought us history, and the wheel brought us mechanical power, agriculture brought us civilization. And now for the number one invention of all time. I promise you it is lit. But first, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and let me know something in the comments. What invention could you not do without? Never in a million years. Which one do you need? Number one, fire. More so than any other invention, fire separated us from the animals. We didn't invent fire, of course, so much as discovered its utility as a tool. The first use of fire is documented to be over a million years ago. Not even Homo sapiens, but our ancestors like Homo erectus used fire to protect themselves, keep themselves warm, and even cook food. The concept of cooking our food actually unlocked many more calories than having to eat them raw. This was a major development. Some scientists theorize that this was the key element in brain evolution, as human brains are massive calorie-eating machines. Being able to unlock significantly more calories from our meals meant that our brains were free to evolve into ever more complex structures. Of course, it's not just cooking that fire revolutionized, but warmth. If you think the winter is cold now, imagine having no source of heat other than your own body. Fire allowed us to expand outside of sub-Saharan Africa, where the temperature would drop a bit in the wintertime. It wasn't just warmth, though. Fire kept wild animals at bay. Many predators suddenly became disinterested when they saw a bright fire in the night. After all, they're naturally afraid of it for a good reason. Fire, when out of control, can be a dangerous and terrifying event. But when humans were able to keep fire under their own control, suddenly they had the upper hand compared to all these wild animals. Fire was the first absolutely clear dividing line between humans and our evolutionary cousins, the great apes, for being the first building block in developing our own species. Fire is the number one invention of all time. The next time you sit in front of a warm fire, remember that this is a tradition that extends back unbroken from before we were even fully human. Mind blown.